It's time for the RMAC Radio Show, featuring all the latest information from around the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. The RMAC is a proud member of NCAA Division II. Now, here's your host, Eric Danner. Welcome to the RMAC Radio Show, week number 14. Here it is going into December, and we still have football to talk about. My name is Eric Danner. CSU Pueblo making it to the Elite Eight in NCAA football. They defeated the University of Indianapolis 28-7. We're going to talk with their outstanding linebacker, Buster Thied, in just a few minutes here. We're also going to talk Armrack Volleyball. we got five teams in the NCAA tournament coming up this week at Regis University. We're going to talk with Regis right side hitter Katie Klein in segment number two. And then we're going to wrap things up. Basketball conference play starts this week already. We're going to talk with the coach from the Colorado Mesa University, Taylor Wagner, the Mavericks off to a 4-0 start in women's basketball. So we're going to talk about them in segment three. But we start off with football and with CSU Pueblo, still number one in the country. And now in the Elite Eight, we're now joined by linebacker Buster Thede. Buster, how's it going today? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, thank you very much for calling me. Hey, Buster, thanks for joining us here on the show. Boy, uh, what a senior year it has been for you. I guess let's kind of... Uh, go back in your career here. You, you, you hail out of Pomona High School in Arvada, which is in the Denver area, for those who are listening to the show uh, outside of Denver. Uh, you go to Western New Mexico initially, had some success down there and, uh, in, in Silver City, and, and then you wind up transferring to CSU Pueblo and, and playing your junior and senior year there. I guess uh, initially, what, uh, what led you to Western New Mexico? Um, I kind of wanted to try something new out of, uh, Colorado, go somewhere that I haven't been before and, uh, you know, meet new people and try something new. And that's kind of what led me to that decision to go to Western New Mexico. Talking with Buster Thede, linebacker for CSU Pueblo. Now, obviously uh, it was a brand new program at that point, uh, when you were coming out of high school uh, for CSU Pueblo, was that something you considered or were you kind of locked in on Western New Mexico? Uh, yeah, I was definitely consider. Uh, I was considering them. Uh, I went to a, a, a recruiting trip there, and so I had a good time then. But uh, ultimately, I had a scholarship offer from Western New Mexico, so uh, I went ahead and took that uh, instead. Talking with Buster Thede, and then you you transfer up to CSU Pueblo. I understand you had some family issues going on, and and I wanted to be closer to home a little bit there, and. And you, you go to CSU Pueblo, and oh, by the way, Lee Meisner is already playing inside linebacker there, and he was our MAC Defensive Player of the Year last year. So you go from being a starter, making a lot of plays at Western New Mexico, to sitting on the bench behind one of the better players in the league. What was that like for you as a transition? Uh, it was it was kind of tough, but not really, because I knew how great Lee was and and how I could learn a lot from him and um, Coach Hughes at the same time, and and being on a team that won a lot more games, you know, I, I wasn't really concerned. Uh, I just wanted to be there and be for the be there for when the team needed me, and you know, make the most of my opportunity uh, as it came. Talking with Buster Thede, who's first team All Armac this year as an inside linebacker, and did you have an idea, Buster, that you would kind of take over for Lee and and take over that to you know? position where you're going to get a lot of plays, a lot of tackles, and, and also in a leadership role? Uh, yeah, coaches coaches told me that that's what they wanted me to do, and that's kind of the role that they wanted me to take on. And so when, you know, they kind of told me about that, I tried to make it a goal for myself to uh, do whatever it took to help make the seniors, you know, Lee and all the seniors last year, you know, to make them proud and, and keep the program rolling at a, you know, the standards that uh, coaches has has put in front of us talking with Buster Thede inside linebacker for CSU Pueblo and the defense Buster especially the last part of the year has really come on strong what has been the difference from maybe the beginning of the year we saw you guys give up 500 yards passing to Tim Jenkins at Fort Lewis obviously West Texas uh, scored quite a few points to where the last four or five games you guys have really been putting the lockdown on teams what what has been the difference uh, I'd say experience. Um, we have a pretty young defense. Uh, a lot of guys had to step up because we lost a lot of seniors that, you know, started the, the previous year. And, uh, you know, to know how to do our job and 
how to just trust and have faith in, in each other and, you know, how to how to count on each other and come together as a team and start making plays and defenses, uh, you know, really starting to figure it out together as a team. Talking with Buster Thede and CSU Pueblo host West Texas A&M this Saturday at noon at the Nita and Eddie DeRose Thunder Bowl. It's the Elite Eight round of the NCAA football playoffs and kind of a unique situation there, Buster. And this, this is a team you've seen earlier in the year in Pueblo, uh, pretty rare in Division Two that uh, the same team, you'll see them twice in your stadium. Have you had a chance to look at any game film? Because I understand West Texas's offense maybe is a little different than when you guys saw them the first week of the season. Yeah, yeah, they got uh, their running back. Uh, he's now playing that he didn't play in the beginning of the when we first played in the in the beginning of the season. So that's going to be uh, you know a, a challenge for us that we haven't seen. And just uh, you know, they're they're big and athletic, and that's that's scary as defense, but something you know another challenge that we have to face. And you know we've seen a lot of adversity this year, so I think. I think we're ready. We're, we're more ready than we have ever been, so it's going to be exciting, and I can't wait to play. Talking with Buster Thede, inside linebacker for CSU Pueblo, 6 feet, 213 pounds. He's a senior out of Pomona High School in Arvada. And, and I got a couple of questions for you here, Buster, in terms of uh, kind of non-football related. Uh, one of them is uh, somebody was asking me, is Buster your real name? Yeah, yeah. Legally, it's my middle name, so it's Jeffrey Buster Thede, and and I've just been called Buster from day one, um, ever since I can remember. So that's just the name I go by. Now, with a name like Buster, I mean, could you play any position besides linebacker? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think I'd want to. <laughs> no, I think it fits pretty well. I'm pretty, pretty fortunate like that. <laughs> and the other question I had is, have you ever seen the movie The Lorax? Uh, now, yes, I think I have. Now, if you were in the in the Lorax. Would that be a feed with a sneed? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that'd work out pretty nice. Feed with a sneed, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, Buster, we appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, best of luck to you this week, and we'll be cheering for you. Uh, thanks for having me. All right, that is Buster Thied, all conference linebacker from CSU Pueblo. You heard there. He had to sit a year uh, behind uh, Lee Meisner, didn't get really much of an opportunity last year and came in this year and took the advantage of that opportunity was first team all conference as a linebacker as a senior six feet 213 pounds not a huge guy but definitely big enough to get the job done at uh, CSU Pueblo as they play West Texas A&M this Saturday that'll be a big one Uh, we've only had one other time when a RMAC school has been in the elite eight round that was Shadron State with Danny Woodhead playing against Northwest Missouri the year. Northwest Missouri, I believe, went on to win the national championship. But West Texas, the sixth seed in the region, Pueblo the one seed. Uh, West Texas did defeat Shadron State uh, two weeks ago in a, in a pretty thrilling type of game. So that'll be a very entertaining ball game to go to. Now, CSU Pueblo, as we mentioned, they defeated the University of Indianapolis 28-7 to in the NCAA playoffs. It was 7-7 to in the third quarter. Pueblo went on to score three touchdowns, one at the end of the third quarter, and then two in the fourth quarter. Cameron McDonald, the outstanding freshman, had three touchdowns in the game as J.B. Matthews had to leave with an injury. Ross Dowson, his typical uh, steady self, and also uh, Josh Sandoval wasn't uh, playing so uh, Paul Browning had to step up, make some plays, some other receivers as well. And uh, we had the post-game press conference. We were there. And here's uh, some of what the Thunderwolves had to say after their big win against Indianapolis. I think the first half we, we felt like we were in control. But, you know, sometimes when you feel like you're in control, you can feel it slipping through your hands a little bit. And I, I wanted to make sure that our guys really didn't let have that feeling. Because if you start pressing and start trying to do more than, than you can – those things start happening. You, you know, you start losing control. But I thought we were in control. Uh, or the, the obvious is that uh, we, we had Troy going there after uh, Ross's helmet came off. And then uh, we missed a couple field goals. That's not like Greg, but, you know, it's part of the game. And we just had to keep playing. I think we knew we had let some opportunities slip in the first half. But as a team, defensively and offensively, we knew we had – a lot of football left to play and that we just needed to finish the game and keep uh, sticking to our assignments. That was the post-game press conference from CSU Pueblo. Uh, John Reston, their head coach, doing most of the talking. Also heard from Cameron McDonald, the running back, and Ross Dowson, the quarterback, 
and what a great year it's been for CSU Pueblo, and they are continuing December 1st, this Saturday noon. Be there at the Nita and Eddie DeRose Thunder Bowl as they take on West Texas A&M. When we come back, we're going to talk about some RMAC volleyball NCAA tournament this week at Regis University. We're going to talk with the Rangers' outstanding right-side hitter, Katie Klein. You're listening to the RMAC Radio Show. 